This week on Losers of Initiative. And I'll wrestle with Cosmic Ray, you know, trying to trying to be violent. Let's go. Let's Take move it. Take your hands off me. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> Being the worst prisoner ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, don't. <laughs> Beautiful. Suggesting slavery? Slavery. You're, you are thinking too simple. It is not about slavery. It is about willing obedience. Yeah, shaking my head. I don't comprehend. Um, pointing at the, uh, the, the mummified corpse inside the... Uh, who or what is this? With every attempt to make the, the complete formula there has to be some testing before it can be completed this is a failed attempt but the information that Master Yi has gained from this failed attempt has gained us the information we need to complete the formula correctly so the formula exactly what does it do he kind of looks at that red vial and looks back at you, obviously not wanting to answer. But then he Fighting. looks he looks over at Mister or Master Yao and is like, "The formula makes people more willing to accept the fact that the Ten Sons are the true dominating force in on the whole planet." <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board. <laughs> Goes. I'm Team Sons. <laughs> Master Yao, I have a quick question. Yes. What did you do to the shadow? I, I, I'm confused why he's answering everything now. The Ten Sons were a powerful force long ago. I'm sure that we have talked about this. Um, and I am the force that was responsible for bringing Mr. Master Yi into the, into the fold. To bring the ten sons down, uh, the part of the part of the energy that has prolonged Master Yi's existence on this on this earth also placed me here to protect the planet so that he would not rise up again. He has put a bind on me, a curse on me, to not allow me to directly interfere. But as each of the ten sons falls. I will gain in strength and power and your your defeat of both the storm lord and the shadow have has given me enough strength to start using my powers in the very most rudimentary terms rudimentary that's a tough one to say and <laughs> yeah yeah it is you did good though you did good I merely convinced him to assist us by using some of that power all right cool on a completely side note, have you seen any spiders? Like tattoos? Spider tattoos? No. Why? What What significance is a spider tattoo? Oh, it, it is no concern to you. Just I am worried. No, I will let you know if I see any. Please do. Same time, you guys are having that conversation. Okay. I'll still interrogate. Um, tell me, my cooperative friend, what... Do you know about the young creature in the sewers? The young creature in the sewers? <gasps> you speak of the little lizard fellow. Nod. He was he was present there when we established our headquarters down in the basement of the sewers. He was insignificant and Master Yi thought that he would be easily controlled but once we achieved <laughs> once we had awoken Ju Ya the Jade Lotus then she, with her mind controlling abilities on even though they are not as powerful as the formula and widespread to affect everyone they would be more than more than adequate to control this lizard and he would be uh, serving as our watchdog 
balls, 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 balls. Recalling our exit, did we? Did I see that? No, he creature. Was, he was apparently hidden, s- s- scared or something, frightened by the. Hopefully hidden. The fighting and the. Okay. Basically, he states that yeah, that whatever that lizard midget creature is, it was there before they were, and. They felt it insignificant. Correct. Just let it be. And then, you know, hey, maybe we can use Juya's powers to mentally dominate and control this thing. But We're not wasting precious red red juice on it. Right. Do you, do you know where Master Yi ran off to? Because he escaped us, and I do not understand how. Oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent question. Master Yi has many abilities that I am not even aware of. Cool, cool. Thank you. No idea on where he might have gone? Once again, he shoots a glance over at Master Yao. He has probably fled to the fortress of the Radiant Star to finish the plan. There is still more of the Ten Sons that need to be awoken, but with your meddling, perhaps we will initiate the plan sooner than expected. I feel like meddling is something the Scooby-Doo evil character would say. <laughs> if it wasn't for you meddling heroes, I would have gotten away with it, too. <laughs> he pulls off a mask and... and I don't trust him. It was, he's it old, was Farmer John the whole time. He's old man Woody. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn to Master Yao, correct? That's our that's our buddy. Yep. Gosh, too many Yaos, Yings, yeah, Zhu Yaos. I don't know. Um, Master Yao. Yes, how can I help you? Will he, you be able to track... Who is next in the Ten Sons Revival? Uh, Sounds like a band. <laughs> the Ten Sons Revival. <laughs> I love those guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they are doing live show. Yeah, what, what kind of music? Yeah. Chinese bluegrass. Chinese, Chinese bluegrass. bluegrass. Chinese bluegrass. <laughs> 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 All right. So, yeah, you you he, ask him that. He, he kind of says, well, yes, I believe if I continue using the process that I used before, I will be able to find out if there are potential new. And in mid-sentence, coming over the, the, the intercom of the base is the boss's voice. All right, boss, what do you got? Hey, fellas, fellas, uh, there seems to be some sort of disturbance in the lounge. I can't get a hold of Tectonic. I just point at Cosmic. And I instantly go into energy form and fly down to see what's wrong with my buddy. Okay. So you zip there. You're there in less than a second. And you see that the lounge, it looks like there has been a scuffle. Tables are turned over and just stuff is just thrown about as if Tectonic had a temper tantrum or something. Do I see Tectonic anywhere? No. Follow the trail of popcorn. (laughs) No, you do not. But yeah, you see actually a spilled bag of popcorn. Ooh, that's I'm a, that's, fall that, that's only been half eaten. No, there's not like a trail of popcorn, but it. Oh, okay. Like it's rare that there would be any <clears throat> popcorn left at all. <laughs> Correct. Um, go ahead and make a observation check. Per perception check, I guess. Perception Just check. Make it up steps. No, that's fine. <laughs> observation games. check. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. You do actually notice something that wasn't that shouldn't be there, and that is. Uh, a few clumps of what look like hair or fur that are like white and black kind of strewn about white and black hair or fur I'm gonna jog my memory and be like do I remember anyone that had white okay cool not a, not a clue okay so uh, is there like a trail of destruction or no, is it, it looks just, just in this room yeah like basically a a, an area, a circular, roughly circular area of the lounge has just been destroyed. I'm just going to yell for help. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but, right. You're, you, Mr. Mewdoo, were you on your way to, to I, go investigate as well? Not initially. Uh, I hear help. Well, over the speakers, he's saying, help, help. Yeah, I was planning on getting more info. Uh, all right. I'll be back. Okay, Mr. Yao is like, or Master Yao is like, I will stay here and keep an eye on the shadow. Nod. Nod in agreement. Okay. We still trust him? <clears throat> Not at I'm all. A, I'm about to, I, I don't know. Okay. I've been assessing him yeah, this yeah. whole time. I'm kind of on with you. Okay. 
Okay, I'll, so I'll you, you know. Mr. Mewdo, you get into the lounge and you see what I described, you know, a scene of, of destruction as if Tectonic was in a brawl or something. And uh, Cosmic Ray, you point out the white and black hairs yep. As, yep. as a clue. Look at these. What, right. are you, what do your detective skills tell you? White and black Ma- hairs? Make an investigation roll. Probably a giant skunk. 20. 20. 2-0. Two, okay, so um, putting two and two together. Black. Okay. The length of the hair or fur. Uh, Ooh, fur. Correct. And the, the colors of white and black and the, the amounts and stuff, you're like, and this putting, is putting yeti. everything together, <laughs> you're like, panda. They are real. <laughs> panda? Yep. What the? F- what? They've always been real. I don't know why you're confused. Yeah. Well, maybe in the superhero world. And I don't even. Exist. I'm not even from this world, yeah. and I know pandas are real. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't even know what movies are. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> panda. Um, okay. Anything jog my memory from the Ten Sons? Panda. Like or We got uh, some kind of locust of the jade. The shadow. Any? Um, no, but it perhaps is one of the ten sons. Uh, Master Yao might know more. Yep. yep. This Maybe is all we ask got. him if there's like cuddly love dogs. Did he? Oh, he, he was watching Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. Oh. I bet he's hiding under the sink. Did he Marco. just murder? <laughs> did he just murder a panda? <laughs> just come out and just belly bump right into you. <laughs> Bulk boom. All right, yeah, let's take the what I think's panda fur. Okay. Back to Master Yao. All right. And present it and kind of ex- explain. Yeah. Do they have fur? Yes. I guess they'd be more like a hide. Is it just you're not there? Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you. And sh- no sign of tech? Nope. Tonic? He's a really good hide and seek player. Is there a hole in the wall? Like where. Like, uh, there's a trail of struggle out r- the front door. Right. It looks like uh, you know who, whatever happened to Tectonic, uh, he left the building through the doors. And willingly, at some point, or? they probably summoned a pinwheel. Oh, he drank. They gave him some goddamn Kool Aid. Or they summoned a kung fu panda that can teleport. <laughs> And he just and followed it out the front just door. Just fought him and teleported away. Yeah, right. He's I'm all starting to, yeah. very likely theories. I'm starting to figure Grug out. Yeah, <laughs> that makes... Okay. I like the pinwheel um, better. Yeah. Probably summoned a pinwheel or a ball. Master, Master Yao. The rec room is a mess. Tectonic is missing. And I've got panda fur. Panda. Oh. Pang Li is one of the ten sons. I won't forget this one. <laughs> so simple. It's not like the other ones at all. Pang Li. It's like panda. Uh, he he is the panda. You have met the Shadow and the Storm Lord, and now you have met Jade Lotus. Another one of the Ten Sons is the panda. How bummed would you be if your name if was you were, the panda? If you got panda, yeah, I would. Obvi- I'm the Storm Lord. Hey guys, I'm the panda. Um, obviously, you are not aware of the strength and anger, and ferocity of a panda bear. Yeah, they get really mad when you mess up their bamboo. When you pick the bamboo leaves off for them, it really gets to them. Uh, so, anything lore-wise, panda? Nothing coming back to Mister Meudial? No. Okay. Okay. Continue. But, but but Master Yao explains that. The panda is one of the strongest of the ten sons in in sheer strength. He he most likely bested your friend Tectonic in a in a in a brawl, and has taken him for some reason. In a physical, okay. maybe in retribution to us taking the shadow, your friend Tectonic is now a prisoner of Master Yi. So should we? It, just... mu- it is very important that we go to the fortress of the Radiant Star as soon as possible. And I will swing my head around and ask our uh, bound uh, bound companion, uh, how would we, shaking my thumb at all of us in the room, uh, get to the Fortress of the Radiant Star? Maybe you should ask him. And he 
gestures his head over at Master Yao. God damn it. What a, what a, what a, you're going to make me do this again? How do we? <laughs> and not, Ma- not so aggressive now. Now I'm. Right. A- Master Yao says, perhaps we can open a portal, but I, don't, I do not know how many could go through. My strength is returning, but I do not think I could send more than two. I, I, I'm already holding up two fingers. <laughs> two. That's all we need. Let's go. <laughs> right. Now, be careful, because the Fortress of the Radiant Star is where Master Yi has spent the last thousands of years in seclusion and exile. It was his prison, but now it has become his base of operations, since he has found a way to return to this world. Arkham Asylum, but worse. It is in another dimension. Good. All good news. All good news. All, all, all positive things. I'm already there. Maybe. You don't. You. Don't, I don't know. Well, you. You're knocked out. And we definitely don't no, know. No, he's where got a pinwheel. I'm. I'm perfectly conscious. No need to knock him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A panda with a pinwheel? pinwheel? Oh, oh is sold. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I'm going to go yeah. with you guys when you find me. <laughs> the room was wrecked because he was bouncing around with excitement. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the panda just points and says attack, yeah. then we might have to fight Tectonic. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's likely. Wow. Uh, wow. We need to get your, get your friend under control. <laughs> I don't control him. Nobody does. But he follows you. And I follow him. It's circle. It's a giant love circle. Cute. <laughs> a circle with two people would be a line. <laughs> it depends on how you walk. <laughs> a love circle with two people. So is that like a vector or it's a like line? A Not line. if he's following a panda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a panda involved now. Yeah. With a pinwheel. To Master Yao, uh, do, you, do you suggest we begin preparations for the fortress? I think we must go there as well. Since I cannot accompany you, I, I believe you must go there as soon as possible. I, I, I guess we're waiting on a portal then. Uh, communicator. Boss? Yeah, what is it? Did you find Tectonic? I can't get a hold of him. The communicator's dead, which is weird because it's got like all kinds of range. I could talk to him if he was in Cuba, but I can't reach him. He may be in a different dimension. A different dimension? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy pigskins. How did he do that? Uh, not willingly? That's my guess. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Did this shadow fellow that you captured put some sort of magic no, sign? No, no, no. He's still restrained. Uh, Master Yi has informed us that he believes Pang, Pang Li is back. Pang Li? Pang Li, oh, yes. Oh, crap. I got to write all this stuff signs. down. There's so many names. <laughs> us too, us too. Uh, uh, Master Yi... Uh, has informed us uh, of his physical <laughs> prowess. Master Yi, he's the bad mm- guy. Yes, that one. I should write these down. <laughs> <laughs> Master, Master Yao. Yao. Okay. Master Yao has informed us of uh, Pang Yi, or as he goes by the panda, his physical prowess. He thinks the panda bested Tectonic in the rec room. And, and Holy cow. Let me, well, I'm going to call up some footage uh, and see what happened. Ooh, this will be good. So, hey, if you want to go to the main control room, I'll, I'll let you see what happened. Oh, yes. Get On your, our way! Get your butts there now. You better make this good, Brad. Okay. I want some Benny Hill. I want some entertainment. <laughs> All right, so as the footage comes up, the boss is obviously watching it from wherever he is, and you're all watching it also at the same time. You see uh, sort of a, a crackling energy circle or portal open up, and emerging from it is a, a regular guy, sort of a young, strong-looking guy. A panda with a pinwheel! <laughs> and uh, and Tectonic is, is watching, eating popcorn, watching the movie, and he kind of turns his head, and they, they exchange some words, like, <laughs> Tectonic is probably asking, hey, how'd you get here? <laughs> Some, Ooh, who are you? You gonna yeah. watch this movie with yeah. him? Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the 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 Oriental gentleman walks over and says says something and points at Tectonic, and then t- Tectonic kind of stands up and pushes his chair back and throws his arms up like, "What? What are you talking about?" And at that, and it's at that moment that this 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 gentleman that's speaking with Tectonic just instantly transforms into this like twelve foot tall, broad shouldered panda. Just 
cute and cuddly. <laughs> and Tectonic steps back, and you guys sort of see a, a grin and a confused look on his face, but that's like his normal look. And uh, and then the panda just grabs him, and they, they kind of wrestle. And then at that point, you know, the the tables are thrown about, and the and the room is put into shambles. Popcorn is spilled. Oh, and and te- damn crime. Te- Tectonic dun, dun, dun. actually stops for a second to get the popcorn, and it is at that time that the panda just basically bear hugs him from behind and steps back through that portal. I don't disagree with any of that story. I mean, it's better than what I thought was going to happen. I thought they were just going to hold hands and like jump in the air and then like twist and <laughs> went freeze through the frame portal. and twist yeah. the portal. Yeah, well, we thought about it, but then we thought we'd put on a show first. <laughs> Does the, can we see through the portal? Nope. Like, there's, it's just an opening. It's a hazy energy. See. Right. Okay. It's similar to the portal that I was just Master ask. Yi went through that Cosmic Ray saw. Same thing? Yes. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> they, you, it, you saw it. It's a fuzzy portal. That's about it. I don't know where it goes. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> By the looks of it, uh, this panda fella is the one that took, took Tectonic. Uh, I figure we gotta find out where Tectonic went. Do you guys have any clues? Uh, Master Yao believes he can mimic the portal we saw in the video and and send us to go get him, and possibly end the the Ten Suns plight all in one swoop. Oh well, that would be great, because you know we're pushing overtime here, and you know we're not approved for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am approved for it. <laughs> I conjure a punch card and clock out. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Doing this on your own time then, huh? <laughs> so uh, I think we better get uh, get snapping here. Let's go. Yep. Uh, I guess it's all on Master Yao. Ye- yes. Master <laughs> Yao now. Brown cow. <laughs> now Yao. All right. So, yeah, Master Yao finally makes it into the room. Now he was there a whole time. He says, wow, I think we must save your friend and put an end to the Ten Suns as soon as possible. And he, he kind of starts gesturing in the air. So this whole interaction with him, um, can I use my Insight. mystical scanning for, yeah, right. Well, mystical scanning basically senses magical energies and magical forces. Oh, I thought it was motives and things. No, that's insight. That, right. is, a, that is a regular skill that most people have. Do you want me to roll this yeah. insight? Go ahead. Well, that can't get much more awful. Was that a one or a seven? That's a one. Okay. Oh. Those so are... one plus whatever equals whatever. Uh, sh- Not that it matters. Yeah. Natural <laughs> fail. But yeah, you feel that he's, he's he's still genuine and honest. I mean, you're starting <clears throat> to think he's your brother. Yeah, something on yeah. a natural one. As he's doing that, okay. I, I jump Perfect. midair and I go, <laughs> and then I land back down and nothing happens. I'm waiting to like. Just freeze frame and twirl no, down into he the summons, portal. He summons, and, and a green sewer pipe kind of pops up. <laughs> <laughs> you must step on that and press down. <laughs> <Do-do-do-do-do-do>. No. <laughs> so anyway, he summons a circular, after making a circular motion in the air, a crackling energy in a, in a one of those circular portals that you've now seen twice, appears. He says, beyond this will take you to the entrance the fortress of the radiant star and I slowly walk away <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn around and go I don't care and then I dive in okay any uh, last uh, advice as I'm floating toward the portal beware of the panda's strength his his strength is in his physical prowess and as you are fully aware Jade Lotus's mental power is is not to be trifled with but because I believe as more suns are, are awoken, Master Yi's power will start to diminish. Yi is, Yi is the target? By taking out Yi, you will, you will stop the power of the Ten Suns. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go through. Okay. I think it's, he's struggling to yeah, hold this open. Yeah, he is kind of like, like, you can tell. He's, but you, yeah, the moment you step through... It's, it's like you're just kind of st- you put your foot down as you're walking and you and you're stepping on what seems to be some sort of like solid cloud like you're walking on stiff cotton balls <laughs> and in front of you is a is a huge looks like a medieval castle um, and it's it's like shiny silvery metal is it radiant 
It's like radiant. Yeah. Uh, The sun isn't in the sky, but it's just bright all around you. The light is just coming from everywhere. It's not like a specific point. There are no shadows whatsoever. So I'm assuming I'm familiar with alternate dimensions in their existence. Is this like some kind of smaller pocket dimension as I look around? Like this isn't... Correct. This doesn't go on forever. Right. You, You feel that this is was specifically designed for the imprisonment of Master, Master Yi in the legends from thousands of years ago. Why did they give him his bow? <laughs> I don't know. What are you? Idiots. <laughs> All right. And you, know, you kind of turn back and look, and there's no portal behind you. And standing there is Cosmic Ray. I'm flying around because I dove in, and I was like, what do we got? Like a, a walkway up to the castle with a drawbridge? What are right. we? There's no drawbridge. It just there's like a like the cloud, the cotton ball cloudy stuff is all puffy and stuff, except for a flat quote unquote road that leads basically from where you are up to the doors of the of the fortress. No, that's a bad idea. We can both fly. Why would we do that? Everything. Right. I'm gonna test out everything. Well, you, can you, I conjure you, things you, here? Yeah. Okay. You don't see any windows. I'm going to do a quick flyby just Yay. completely around Scout this like place any out. other doors. I mean, there's okay. no windows, but do right. I see any other way in? All right. As I'll you, be here. As you're flying but o- invisible. As you're flying around the outside of the perimeter, uh, you do not see any other doors. It looks like if you were to fly up and over the fortress, there's like a courtyard there perhaps. But as you but as you tr- attempt to do though, you know, to to see into the fortress, a, a, an invisible force basically stops you from going over the fortress. You cannot be over it at all. You're like, what? I was just waiting for like a a mosquito bug net. <laughs> <laughs> a bug zapper. Okay, oh. so then uh, since I can't fly down, then I'm going to head on back. Okay. Can you make us invisible? And can we get through that way? I can't make him invisible, can I? No, I don't think there's any way. Is just for just you. me. Yep. <sighs> illusion. Moving illusion. <sighs> Do you want me to sacrifice myself? Illustrate. <laughs> <laughs> just go on without me. I'm like, huh? Well, uh, this is my life now. <laughs> Look like it's uh, me and Mr. Muriel <laughs> from now on. Muriel, follow over. No, I can't. I can't. I don't think I can make you invisible. Maybe some kind of moving illusion as we both move along. That's about the only thing I can think of. Try a giant wooden horse. Or maybe an elephant. What? what, what? <laughs> I thought we wanted to be invisible. Well, yeah, the elephant draws all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> While they're looking at the elephant, we'll just sneak right by him in the door. They're like, what is the elephant doing here? <clears throat> what about a giant pinwheel? Okay. Or like so a, 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 the illusion of a like force. Okay. A, a, a yak, a, a cart being pulled by a yak, and you driving it, and making it look like an old Chinese person <laughs> driving a yak up to the... Why would there be a yak with a Chinese person Why on would there it? be a f***ing elephant, in a Nate? cloud? That's your both, problem with it? Both of those are in China, yaks and elephants. But not <laughs> cloud dimensions. It's all based off Chinese legends and myths, so... I, I was thinking about just making... Do they have, like, a... Foot w- panda. Weekly and- deliverance of <laughs> a, a yak carrier that's like, Oh, hey, that's Frank. <laughs> Let him through. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we... Uh, we should have asked Master Yao. I'm sure he knows. Uh, what if we just... We got to go through the front door, is what it sounds like. Can I be a prisoner and you be Shadow? Y- yes... Or should I be that's, Stormlord? That's doable. Uh, they probably saw Stormlord dead, though. Well, he's not dead. He was, he, you downed him. He was like the shadow. He was knocked out. So we don't know where he went. Right. He may still be here then. Yeah. So then the shadow, for sure, because he's tied up in our base. And then I'll be me, because I can't lightening my face to look like the you shadow. Wanna, you want to... Star Wars, this where I, you're Chewbacca and we bring you in. I don't. Oh, good. That's a good one. I guess. That's I'm sure. Have seen his face. His face was not so. Good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that your O face? That's your. That's your <laughs> best voice. Vinegar strokes. 
Yeah, we're not gonna, I don't know. I don't feel like we're gonna fool anybody. We could try. Uh, all right. If we use teamwork. <laughs> That's true. Yes, that would be awesome. Everything would, is be, would be much rich. better. Being... When you're part of a team. All right, yeah, all right, let's do it. We'll illusion it, I'll teamwork it so he can feel, you can play your role as the captured you better. <laughs> I am leading the party. Anyway, so Mr. Mewdo, you illusion yourself to look like the, the shadow. shadow in his yeah armor, and then you also illusion some m mystical bindings. <laughs> no, you those can't, no. You can't do them real. <laughs> no, no, those never, <laughs> never work. Never work. Everybody knows <laughs> they'd, that. They'd see through that. Those are mystical bindings. Are mi right. You're faking. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Let's give it a shot. We'll just head up there in that manner. Okay. The shadow. He has lots of teleporting, doesn't he? Yep. So, if anything, it would be I better... I can't do all that, though. ...if you <laughs> teleported to the bridge. There's no windows. Just walk the freak up. Right, there. but can you teleport whilst illusioned? No. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't maintain two at the same time. Why is he walking up? Uh -huh. He usually just teleports. Because <laughs> you can't teleport, and he has to walk with you. Um, so, as you, as you are the shadow, uh, es escorting... Cosmic Ray, the yeah, prisoner. He's struggling, right? It's that's why I'm not teleporting because yeah. he's fighting me. He's making his will save. I uh, try, but it's failing. Yeah. Damn uh, it! As you're approaching the entrance, now you haven't seen anybody, even whilst uh, Cosmic Ray was flying around the perimeter. You didn't see anybody on like manning the walls or the towers of this castle or anything. As you get near the front gate, walking via the road, uh, the front gate are are two big, solid wooden reinforced heavy doors that are closed. Okay. Okay. As you approach the front gate, two ghost-like images appear standing up on the up on the wall above the gate looking down on you. And they they're dressed in like ancient Chinese, you know, armor, carrying big pole arms, big pole like big halberd looking things. And they kind of stare down at you and then they speak in Chinese. Uh oh, okay. Down to you. So, Cosmic Ray, you have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, I'm just staring at it. But, this. Mr. Meudial, since you are as smart as you are, you actually speak Chinese and understand the what is the conversation that is about to ensue. So they say, Who is this, and why have you brought him to the fortress of the Radiant Star? So this is still illusion, right? Audio. Yeah, you're... Yeah, so I'm speaking from the shadow, from what I remember, the shadow's voice. Uh, this is one of the obstacles in the Master's plan to bring back, bring us all back. In the shadow's voice. I don't know what the shadow is. Okay. okay. Sound right. Chinese. Yeah. N no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they kind of, they kind of, st they don't answer right away as they just kind of continue stare down, at, staring down at you uh, as, as if they're in processing mode or something. They're, they appear to be ghosts? Correct. Okay. You know, you can kind of see through them. They're like wispy, silvery, white, semi-transparent figures. Uh, and after a moment of silence of just kind of staring down at you, like kind of shut off for a second, they start speaking. Well, one of them starts speaking again. Uh, and he, he's like, The master will allow you to enter. Bring this prisoner to him immediately. And then the doors just <laughs> and start creaking open. And I'll wrestle with Cosmic Ray, you know, trying to, trying to be violent. Let's go. Let's Take move it. Take your hands off me. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> Being the worst prisoner ever. <laughs> um, no, don't. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Tectonic. Perfect. Tectonic, you actually, after wrestling this, this bear, who you were absolutely confused on how he got there and what was going on, you can kind of put that together in your head. Uh, he carries you in to this this room. He just sort of walks into through nothing, and now you're in a room. There are no doors, no windows, smooth, metallic-y, silver-looking walls and floor and ceiling. Okay. Popcorn machine and a TV? No. I'm upset. Yeah. And there's, there's actually not even anything in this room. It's just like a, a smooth metal cube that you're in. Okay. And the and this big huge panda dude who was ext extremely strong, uh, just kind of flumps you with his shoulder down onto the ground, 
and kind of stares stares down at you as this big panda. Um, what what did he say to me like before? In relevance to anything, was anything? No, he 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 basically just like said you're coming you're, with me or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, then I'll say, uh, Tectonic Wonders, what do you want? It is not what I want. It is what Master Yi wants. And you will find out soon enough. And he just, without even turning, he just kind of takes a step backwards and just disappears into thin air. Oof. No doors, no windows. Okay, I've seen in my travels, like Zerosi and stuff, find these, like, hidden doors that aren't really there. So I'm going to start looking for one of those. Okay, so you're kind of feeling the cracks <laughs> in the walls. I don't know what I'm looking for. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to start feeling walls. Knocking on them, banging yeah. on them. But it sounds really cool because your your voice, the acoustics in here, like it's all smooth metallic, so you're very echoey, res- nice. you know, like uh, the resonance vo- of your voice and stuff. I might start singing a little bit. All right, nobody so, knows. <laughs> so it doesn't take long. It's only uh, only a matter of minutes when Master Yi just appears into the room. Just sort of s- s- he's kind of stepping in through the air, appearing, and he kind of is standing there looking at you for a second, and he says. Well, Tectonic, it seems that uh, the the might of the team that is against us has been captured. I hope your friends are very concerned and come to your aid. Egging me on. Do I feel? Uh, do I feel still strong and normal? Yeah, I have all my powers and stuff in this room. Absolutely. Tectonic doesn't need any friends. Oh, that is so sad to hear. <laughs> Not good with witty comebacks. Well, I'm tectonic. It's not good. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm gonna punch him. Okay. So go ahead and roll to hit. Sixteen. Not a problem. You smack him right in the face, but you just move right through him as if he's a ghost standing there. He doesn't look like a ghost, but your fist just moves through him as if he's not really there, and he just kind of chuckles. <laughs> That was very entertaining. I hope you continue to do so. Tectonic thinks you should come fight like a man. Why would I do that, you silly, silly, silly person? That makes no sense at all to me. I hold all of the cards. You, sir, are my prisoner, and you, sir, will serve the purpose very well. What is the purpose? I need to stop your friends from interfering further in my plan. What is the plan? Since you won't be going anywhere ever again, I suppose there is no harm in explaining what is going to happen. You see, long ago, Master Yao hired me to solve a problem that they were unable to solve. There were ten suns above the earth, roasting it, destroying it, and I was hired by Master Yao since I am a great hunter, a great archer to put an end to the Ten Sons. He should have known the methods I use were not the methods that they wanted me to use. He said that I should speak with them. That is not my skill. That is not my talent. So when I went to dispatch of the Ten Sons, the methods I used were not very approved. And even though my mission was successful, I was punished, banished for eternity into this fortress of the Radiant Star. Not very appreciated for all of the work and skill I used. I decided that the world that I saved was not worth saving at the, after all. So I vowed to, grit, to gain strength and return to one day, find an escape from this fortress and return to the earth to reawaken the suns and let it finally face the fate that it was long overdue for that I prevented so many thousands of years ago. Grug wonder, how will you achieve such goal? Oh, that is a little more complicated. There is a method that I will stop in Freedom City by creating a chemical formula which is odorless and tasteless. I will put it into the water supply. They will consume it in not only just in the drinking water, but also in everything they use, whether they cook with the water or anything. One drop of this formula will eternally bend their will to serve the Ten Sons. 
I do not need to use violence. I do not need to use force. The reason I need to awaken the Ten Sons is to grow in strength enough to fully exist in that world. However, as you may have foreseen, as I fully exist more and more into the world, my powers that I have gained are diminished. Grug confused. Go ahead, ask your question. Uh, why conquer the world and not just destroy it? What, what purpose would that give? Destroying the world, even though that would bring me great pleasure, it would, it would end. It would be a limited pleasure. I want to see them bow before me. I want to see, I want to take the place of Emperor Yao from long ago, who ruled the known world at the time. Suffer, basically. Yes. I will give everyone the formula except Master Yao. He will be resistant to it. He will not suffer its effects. So he will see all of the population of the world willingly serve my, my goals and my missions. But then he'll stop you. I will have the ten sons to serve and protect me. Even though my power will be diminished, they will be strong and they will stop Master Yao. Grug still wonder, how did you get out of prison in first place in this steel box? Because from what he knows, it's just a giant steel box. <laughs> he doesn't know about the ah. castle and everything. The fortress of the Radiant Star was created by the gods to keep me imprisoned forever and eternity away from the earth. However, apparently one of the deities is not of the same mindset as the others and has assisted me through visions. The deity has spoken with me and given me the fortress escape I sought for so long. And it is through this deity's intervention that I am able to travel between the place of the fortress of the Radiant Star and the, the Earth, back and forth. As my power wanes and all of the Ten Suns awaken, once they are fully awakened, the Force has instructed me that I will be able to persistently exist on the Earth for the rest of eternity, ending my banishment into the fortress of the Radiant Star. Uh, so we're not on Earth? No, we are in a pocket dimension created by the gods. This is the fortress of the Radiant Star. You not pay attention very well. Uh, but Grug can't heal if not on Earth. I do not know what you are talking about, <laughs> but that's okay. It does not matter. Your, your, your purpose is only to draw your friends from the Earth into the fortress of the Radiant Star where they will be captured and imprisoned for eternity, taking my place as I go to Earth to rule. This, this god, Grug wonder if it's a spider lady with blackness and evil stuff. You are horrible at memory things. <laughs> Grug not smart. She is known by many names in the many worlds that she exists in. But yes, she is the blackness. She is the queen of the pits. That is P-I-T-S, not P-I-S-S. -S. Oh, okay. Just pits. <laughs> with, a, with an oriental accent, it maybe comes out of piss, but it's pits. <laughs> Pit, P-I-T-S. Mm, it was good. It was fine either way. And she has given me the strength that I need to escape my fortress. Grug have bad news for you. Grug and Ovac defeat darkness in this world. A and you're next. <laughs> oh, he just kind of stares at you, kind of yeah, like, uh, he's like, really? Do you yeah. even know what's going on right now? And then, um, I'm going to try and use my uh, communicator. Okay. And see if I can reach the other two. I mean, I don't know where they are. I don't know where I am, really, either, technically. Okay. I know I'm not on Earth now. So that's a start, but uh, yeah, let's try that, and just and I'll just I'm just gonna call him, right? Yeah, be like Ovac, come in. <laughs> Grug want Ovac, come in, type thing. Okay, Man. there there is no response. It just I wouldn't be able to tell if it was going through. Well, there's actually like it. it there's no noise whatsoever, no static. It no, doesn't do no, anything. Correct. Okay. And I've probably used it enough to at least have heard static. Right, there's, there might be a noise when you activate yeah. it or deactivate it, but there's nothing. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like it's not 
it doesn't work. Okay? Okay. All right. And we're going to go back to the other guys. All right. So the big giant gates open up as Mr. Mutual, I, a.k.a. the Shadow, leads in Cosmic Ray. And it opens up and there's a big courtyard and you, and you see flanking the sort of, there's like a, a pathway or a clearing road leading up to the inner keep. Oompa Loompas, cr- fingers crossed, Oompa no, Loompas. like on either side, flanking on either side of this 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 passage, uh, this uh, this open courtyard lane that leads to the inner keep uh, are dozens of these ghostly warriors. There's probably at least 40 or 50 on either side, and they're all kind of standing at attention in formation, facing each other, you know, facing the east side is facing the west side kind of thing, and you're walking down the middle. Uh, just to be clear, Brad and I just did our whole chunk without either of the other two in here, so they know nothing. Yeah. So Should be pretty good. Which was not really intentional, but it ended up being because Mike no, had to it's pee. Good. It's better. So, I didn't want to be here. Wow, rude. We well, don't want you here. So there. Um, oh, also, just to be clear, I did get my cane back in the previous episode from the Jade Lotus. She, you know, remember when I gave her my Amulet she and cane. It or something. Yeah, it was. It was. In it was the, in the room. Yeah, it was. There. Yeah, just to clarify, I've got all that back. Because <laughs> that was that was the courtesan that wanted that as payment. Right. But once she became Jade Lotus, she didn't care about she that didn't kind care of stuff. About that. She just okay. So you kind of walk, looking left uh-huh, and right uh-huh. as you're uh-huh. walking in between all these, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there hundred guards? Is there anyone like directing them, or are they nope. all moving in unison? They're not moving at all. They're standing at attention. But are, like their eyes. Watching us? Nope. Eerie, just... eerie background sounds. <laughs> Appar- <laughs> Apparently now there is. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's no. part of my illusion. No, it's 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 quiet. So you guys walk, you know, you know, nervously, uh, and you get up, kind of up the stairs to the inner keep, and the and those doors just open in front of you as well. Wow, this is going swimmingly. A piece of cake, and there, and it this opens up. Trap. It opens up into a into a grand hall. You know the kind of, you know, like you see in movies and TV shows of the king's grand hall, where there's pillars lining the big, wide, and tall room with a suits of armor. Yeah, suits of armor, and like there's when you're okay. One thing you do notice is that when you're inside. There are windows, but from the outside, there are no windows. Convenient. <laughs> so they've already seen me flying around. Okay. So, but yeah, there's you know big line, and there's a red carpet all the way down, you know the the eighty foot long room that ends in a sort of a raised stepped platform with a big throne on it. But no one is sitting on the throne. You're basically in a gigantic empty hall. There's none of the ghostly guards there or anything. Yeah, Meudiel's not liking this one bit now that he yeah. sees windows. <clears throat> yeah, and you've kind of walked in a little bit, and the doors just automatically close behind you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I feel like they know we're here, and... And as the doors close... They know what's up. Torches just sort of light up, oh, even though sure, they didn't really need sure. they didn't really need to because there's light coming in from somewhere. It's like pointing the, us in a certain windows. direction, maybe? Like Yeah, they kind of us. light... You know, close to the two, because there's, like I said, there's pillars running down, and there's torches on each of the pillars, or big fire, you know, braziers, um, and they just start lighting closest to you, and then a little further away, a little further, until they get all the way down to the ones by the throne light. So it kind of, like, lights up like that. Almost directing you to travel down there. Is there a door down there? Is there a way out? Is uh, that a dead end? You kind of, like, look around yeah. and stuff, Try and you and see that there are two doors. Okay. Uh, at the far end, on either side of the far end wall. Damn it. Kind of flanking the big throne. If I was to put a brig in here, which door would I put it on? The left or right? We'll find out when we get up there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm keeping this illusion. I mean, okay. it's the. Yeah, well, yeah I'm, I'm waiting for you to direct me where to go. Okay. Can we see out the windows at all? Anything? No, they're like stained glass windows and, you know, heavily, heavily. Oh, okay. Frosted okay. and colored. Okay. Uh, makes me feel a little better. Maybe maybe this is working. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. D- uh, all right. We'll just continue maybe down this just path. Just kind of, of walking down the middle, kind of looking around, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> no, hopefully not. Okay. Hopefully we just if find anything, Grog. You should be staring directly ahead while I am freaking out. Okay. Keeping yeah, up continue, that illusion. Continue down. Okay, so you get about halfway, uh, and you hear Master Yi's voice. 
Oh, you have come to save your friend, I see. I have. Wait, <laughs> what? But I've been captured. Oh, that is so cute that you <laughs> think of this. And and appearing, just sort of zoop, uh, from an like, invisible becoming visible kind of appearing. Sitting in the throne is Master Yi. And standing beside him on his right is the Jade Lotus. Standing beside him on the left is a like b- big huge panda but like you know like hominid style he's standing like a panda man <laughs> but he's like you know huge and he says no why why you stop keep coming come all the way here up uh, shadow you have nothing to fear from us <laughs> 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 he just kind of chuckles yeah and jade lotus kind of nods and laughs you know does the smile nod as he says that as well the panda does not he just mm, Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Let's continue forward. For what? I will do my best to. Well, you can't go back. <laughs> if anything, you should put up a barrier, and I can just pew 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 shoot everybody. <laughs> do you, are, are, are we back in Boot Hill? <laughs> Hide behind a barn. Pew pew. You could conjure a barn. <laughs> <laughs> it maybe, maybe a barn door. It might fit in this big huge hall. Yeah. So so for now, I'm gonna physically kind of keep moving forward. I, I can feel your resistance, Kay. and I can see it in your face. <laughs> like, right now, we're moving uh, forward. No. I'm going to try to whisper, uh, pick a door. As, good, as quiet yeah. as I can. Yes, because Cosmic Ray, you also see that there is a you know a door on the left and a door on the right. On the same you know far wall that the throne basically is on. I have no, no preference for where I think Tectonic might be. Yeah, you have no idea yet. Okay, flip a coin. Pick a door. That's what I whisper. Okay. Pick a door. I'm going right. Well, don't... Shh. <laughs> hey, let's go right. <laughs> yeah, you don't really Psych have... Psych left. <laughs> you don't really have a quiet volume. Uh, yeah, I'll drop this voice. charade of an illusion now. Okay. And... Okay. Uh, they, they don't eat... As you, as you stop being the shadow and return yeah, to being they, Mr. Muto, they don't even react. It's like they were expecting that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not physically m- moving you forward anymore uh, under this guy's... Uh, do, 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 do. I am going to try to. Oh, I should have done this before. I want it like a squeezy bottle of water. Okay. And I'm going to try to pour some of this red liquid, get that into the, the water soluble red liquid. Okay. Into a squeezy bottle. You know what I'm talking. Just a sports bottle. Yep. Okay. Trying to do that as inconspicuously as I can. I mean, I've got my long cape and cloak. I don't know. If you're gonna allow me to pull this off, I don't know. Uh, do you have sleight of hand? Um, I wanted it, um, <laughs> but you crossed it out on my character sheet, which I was like, "What?" Do you have sneak? Uh, stealth. Stealth, yeah. Of an eight. Go ahead and make a stealth roll. <clears throat> the twenty? Yeah, oh, twenty total. Pull- nice. Okay. Since you didn't have a sleight of hand, I was gonna up the difficulty to twenty and make it a stealth roll. <laughs> I, I I should have sleight of hand. Just. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, as you, you know, as inconspicuously as possible, mm-hmm. like within your robes and right. kind of... Dropping this illusion, right. shaking it off. Yeah, kind right. of, yeah, you even like gesture like you're brushing dust off or something. And with that, you know, you conjure up the squirt bottle around the, uh, the, the test, vial, the, the vial okay. as, as you remove the cap of the vial, as you conjure oh. the bottle. So all, all of all it t- is in the water? Correct. Okay. That, yes, that works for me. All right. And after you do that, what do you want to do anything there, Cosmic Ray? Um, he wants to go right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, actually... Just, just so you know, as you're, as you're looking at them, because on his right, on his right is uh, Ju Ya, and on his left is the panda. So as you're looking at them, your right would be the panda. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to shoot off an energy blast at uh the jade whatever. The jade lotus. Lotus, yeah. I was going to say priestess, but I knew okay. that was wrong. You just kind of quickly like hip sh- hip shoot boot hill style <laughs> and shoot an energy blast at the jade lotus. Yep. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Oh, uh, that is an 11. Okay. But she doesn't even attempt 
to dodge. She doesn't even attempt to move out of the way. So it looks like it's going to just blast her square right in the upper chest. In the face. But uh, as it reaches about the, about the bottom of the stairs, you know, because like I said, the throne is kind of on some stairs that's raised up. As it reaches about the bottom of those stairs, it just sort of hits this wall of enter- this clear force field and okay. sort of, you know, dances all around it for a second. And then, you know, dissipates and the force field kind of disappears again. Could they feel my power? <laughs> they could see it. I don't know if they're feeling it. <coughs> Were they uh, and, a little nervous? I'm going to stop moving forward and, at that point. And Master Yao just kind of leans back into the throne and says, Oh, that is so cute that you choose to entertain us with such a light show. Do you want to do anything else? Maybe fly up or turn into your little energy body? I, I can shoot more. Oh, please do. That would that would be great. I shoot off like three or four more. Okay, so as you're, as you're doing that, the panda does not, you know, and... and I'm going to conjure up a throne of my own to Ju- sit on. <laughs> Ju- Ju- right where I am in the middle of this hallway. <laughs> Ju Ya's kind of chuckling and, you know, Master Yu saying what he... But the panda, he just seems to be, you know, getting angry or something. And then with, with the panda getting angry, I'm like, why don't you come out of your little bubble there, buttercup? And yeah, Master and it, it, Lee. It, it, it looks like he's going to, but but Master Yi kind of puts his hand up. No, oh, cute. Pang Lee, you stay where you are. You can't you can't fight your own battles. You have to have Daddy do it for you. Okay, as nice, nice. as Mister Miyuriel, you have your little throne that you yeah, kind of saw. And you're like, ah, just, this is obviously they're toying with us. So you make a throne and sit down. I'll just sit down. And and uh, Cosmic Race trying to egg on the panda, um, to g- to get him going. And as you're doing that, you know, expect, you know, waiting for them to do the next move, the, thr- the entire throne room, the entire grand hall s- starts, like, shrinking down. Not, not necessarily where they are, but the walls and the back behind you start sort of closing in, and all of the uh, adornments, all of the, all of, like, the de- fancy decorations and stained glass windows, they just start sort of disappearing, and the color of the room starts turning into the sort of the metallic, shiny, silveriness that you saw that it looked like from the outside as it's shrinking in around you. And we're going to actually find out what happens next week. Oh, no. I'm totally going to blast the panda in the face. Either, either yeah. This, either. Is, this is a safe place now. I'm going to look for a bottle that says, drink me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys have a new base. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's in, oh, I've got it right here. Sports bottle. Drink. <laughs> <laughs>